we are going to have discussion on series and parallel combination of resistors and first i will let you know our main aim in this topic and then we will move on to our discussion whenever we have series combination of resistors that is resistors are connected in series manner we try to replace the series combination of resistors with a single resistor and the resistance offered by this single resistor is equivalent to the resistance offered by the series combination of resistors and therefore the resistance of the single resistor is known as equivalent resistance and represented by r sub eq and the same thing we do when we have parallel combination of resistors we try to obtain the equivalent resistance for the parallel combination of resistors and now we will understand in detail what is series combination and how to obtain the equivalent resistance when we have series combination and for this i have taken one very simple circuit in which we have two resistors and one voltage source and the resistance offered by the first resistor is equal to r1 and the resistance offered by the second resistor is equal to r2 and the voltage provided by the voltage source is equal to v and now we will talk about the types of nodes present in this circuit and we know there are two types of nodes first one is simple node at simple node only two elements are connected and therefore there is no current division at simple node the second one is the principal node and at principal node more than two elements are connected and therefore there is current division at principal node and now it is very easy to find out the types of nodes present in this circuit r1 and the voltage source are connected at this common point therefore this common point is the node and as only two elements are connected at this node the node is simple node and we know there will be no current division at simple node therefore there will be no current division at this node and if i is the current leaving the positive terminal of the voltage source i will be the current entering the simple node and as there is no current division at this node the same current i will leave the simple node so i is the current entering resistance r1 and therefore there will be voltage drop across r1 and the voltage drop will have the magnitude equal to i multiplied to r1 and the polarity will be plus minus now you can see that at this common point r1 and r2 are connected so this is our next simple node and there will be no current division at this node as well so i is the current entering and i is the current leaving so i is the current through resistance r2 therefore there will be voltage drop having the magnitude i r2 with this polarity now moving forward we have another simple node at which r2 and the voltage source are connected i is the current leaving r2 therefore i is the current entering the simple node and the same current will leave the simple node so you can see that in this circuit current i is the only current and therefore through r1 and r2 the same current is flowing so whenever the same current is flowing through the resistors connected back to back the connection is known as series combination there can be n number of resistors connected back to back with same current through them in series combination here we have only two resistors connected back to back and current i is flowing through them now we will move on 
to the calculation of equivalent resistance and for that we will apply KVL. We know if this particular point is having the zero volt potential then this point will have the V volt potential because the potential difference or the voltage is equal to V and as this particular potential is the potential at this point here also we will have the same potential that is V because no element is connected here in this wire. Now there will be drop in potential by IR1. So we will reduce V by IR1 and that will be the potential at this point. So we have V minus IR1. Now moving forward the potential will reduce by IR2. So we will subtract IR2 from V minus IR1 and we will have potential at this point that is V minus IR1 minus IR2. But this point and this point have the same potential therefore V minus IR1 minus IR2 will be equal to zero. So after the application of KVL we have V minus I R1 minus I R2 equal to 0 and from here we can have voltage V V is equal to I R1 plus I R2 and we can take current I common from the two terms and therefore V is equal to I inside the bracket R1 plus R2. Now if we assume a single resistor in place of R1 and R2 then we have the arrangement like this. The voltage source providing voltage V is connected across the resistor having the resistance REQ and current I is the current through the resistor therefore V is equal to I multiplied to R E Q. So in place of V we can write I R E Q. So we have I R equivalent equal to I inside the bracket R1 plus R2. Now compare the left hand side and the right hand side and you will find the equivalent resistance R E Q is equal to R1 plus R2. So finally we are getting the equivalent resistance equal to R1 plus R2. Remember this result. So whenever we have resistors connected in series we simply add the resistance values to have the equivalent resistance. Now we will talk about parallel combination. We will understand what is parallel combination and how to calculate the equivalent resistance when we have the parallel combination of resistors and for this I have taken this particular network in which we have two resistors connected in the manner you can see and there is one voltage source providing the voltage V and like in this case we will first find out the types of nodes present in this network. If you focus on this particular common point then you will find one two and three elements are connected at this common point so this is a node and the type of node is principal so it is principal node and therefore current will divide at this node let us say current i is the current leaving the positive terminal of the voltage source then current I will enter the principal node and it will get divided into two currents let's say I1 and I2 so current is dividing at principal node and we can apply KCL here according to KCL current I will be equal to I1 plus I2 so applying KCL we can say that I is equal to I1 plus I2. Now it is clear that current I1 is the current through R1 and I2 is the current through R2. 
therefore drop across r1 is equal to i1 r1 with this polarity and drop across r2 is equal to i2 r2 with this polarity and i1 and i2 will meet at this node which is again a principal node because three elements are connected at this node and we know when i current leaves the positive terminal the same current should enter the negative terminal if this does not happen then the wire will get charged therefore when i leaves i should enter as well so i is the current in this particular wire now you can notice one very important point potential here will be equal to v if potential here is equal to zero this means potential difference across r1 and r2 is equal to v minus zero that is v so potential difference across r1 is equal to v and potential difference across r1 is equal to i1 r1 so v is equal to i1 r1 and also v is equal to i2 r2 i2 r2 and from here we can say that v is equal to i r equivalent when you replace this arrangement of resistors by a single resistor having the value r equivalent then v will be equal to i r equivalent and from here we can say that we can say that i1 is equal to v over r1 i2 will be equal to v over r2 and i will be equal to v over r equivalent now we will put i equal to v over r equivalent here so we have v over r equivalent i1 is equal to v over r1 v over r1 i2 is equal to v over r2 and you can see that v is present in the numerator of each term we are having therefore we can write 1 over r equivalent equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 so this is how we will calculate the r equivalent when we have the parallel combination of resistors so remember this important result and from here we can say that r equivalent is equal to r1 multiplied to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 remember this as well so what is parallel combination parallel combination is the combination in which the voltage across the two or more resistors remains the same in case of series combination the current was same through the resistors but in case of parallel combination the voltage is same across the resistors now we will move on to the next point in which we will understand what will happen when we have n resistors connected in series let's say the n resistors are r1 r2 all the way to rn and we know when we have the series combination of resistors we simply add all the resistances together to have the equivalent resistance so r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 all the way to rn and what will happen when we have n resistors connected in parallel from here it is clear that we have 1 over r equivalent equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 all the way to 1 over rn now we will assume the case in which all the n resistors will have the same resistance value this means r1 is equal to r2 similarly all the resistors will have the same value and let's say the value 
is equal to R. Now in this scenario, the equivalent resistance will be equal to N multiplied to R. In this case, when we have all the resistance values same, then 1 over R equivalent is equal to N over R. And from here we can say that R equivalent is equal to R over N. Now let's move on to the last point. According to this point, in series combination the equivalent resistance is more than the largest resistance. The point is very clear. Now in case of parallel combination, the equivalent resistance is always less than the smallest resistance. Because in parallel combination, we provide more parallel paths to the current and therefore the overall resistance offered to the current reduces. For example, let's say there is one resistor here, current is I. Now if we add one more resistor in parallel, then this current will face less resistance because now it is having two different paths. Therefore, the overall resistance offered reduces and hence the equivalent resistance is always less than the smallest resistance in parallel combination. And the opposite thing happens in series combination. For example, if you have one resistor and current I is flowing through the resistor, now if you add one more resistor then the resistance offered will increase to this current. Therefore, the overall resistance offered increases and hence the equivalent resistance is always more than the largest resistance in series combination.